Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD Blind. In the last episode, you already know what we did in the last episode because we have been doing the same thing for a few episodes now. We have explored some new islands, and oh, a freaking chew jelly! Well, what the heck, I'll take it. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to be exploring, of course, some new islands. I have no idea how long it's going to take us to getting these last four islands completed, but we'll see how it goes. We still have four more to get, and I remember those things because we already took care of those last time. Or when we were... Yeah, it was last time. What am I talking about? I'm, I'm a little tired. It's uh, almost midnight, and usually recording at this late at night is never a good thing for me, but I was just in the mood to play the game. So, I don't know, I, I really did want to play, but... Anyways, enough about that. Our next island is exactly one square away from where we are now. So, I know I don't like the cut in the beginning of the episode, but I see no real reason not to. So, I'll see you guys when we reach our first new square of the episode. See you guys in just a moment. Okay, so we have reached our new island. And we have a fish, of course, that we need to get the location for this place. That made no sense. This fish is going to give us the location of this brand new square. So, hopefully it's a place of niceness that we get to explore. And we should be good on that front. So, what is this place called and what is there to do? This is... Flight Control Platform. Alright, sounds cool. Sounds like a pretty nice place to be. To the west of here, over on Dragon Roost Island, you'll see all kinds of rocks. Big ones, little ones, you get the picture. Anyways, they say that long ago there used to be treasure hidden inside those things. Who knows, there may, be still, there may still be some left, so you should open your eyes and take a good look around, from as high as the sun to as low down as your toes. And that's all the- okay, that's fine, that's fine. Thank you so much for your staggering bit of information there. So, that's pretty nice. Fun tip! You play the Wind Waker and it stops you mid-tracks. Um, thank you to everybody who pointed that out in the comments because I was really having a problem stopping there. But we have this place. The Flight Control Platform, I guess, is the name of this island. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Greetings, old person who has surely come to take the challenge of the big sky. This is where you can register for the official Rito Tribe Birdman Contest. And now listen, you are free to use any means, methods, or tools you have at your disposal to help your soar through the sky. The rules are simple. See us, see how far you can fly before you crash into the rolling seas, much like so m dead... Okay, I can't. A banner stands now at the site where the great and talented champion, who has flown the furthest to date, crash into the frothy waves in a massive splash of glory. If you are able to pass that flag, then you will be the new champion, and you will be drenched in prey as much as you will be drenched in seawater. The petition piece of fee is 10 rupees. Sure thing. Okay, then up the ladder you go. My brother awaits you up top. Oh, uh, you don't seem to have any wings or feathers or anything on your back. So do you have something that can you that you can use to fly, right? I sure hope so. Here's wishing the wind beneath your, uh, thing. Whatever it is. I cannot read. Then again, it's midnight. So don't brag me if I can't read. Oh, a challenger. The contest is afoot. You see that banner far off in the distance? That marks the record distance set by our great and talented champion. You must pass that banner. Alrighty then. So, do we just fly through this and try to see if we can get over there? Doesn't seem too bad. Um, one thing's first. I want to make sure the wind is in my favor here, if I can... If I'm afraid to adjust the wind. Because I'm not even sure what the wind is at right now. It is at... Alright, so this is north. I'm guessing this is where we want it to be. Yeah, that looks perfect. That looks right in the direction where we need to be. And of course, we cannot do this task without our Deku Leaf. So, let's just go about it and see what we got. Alright, so let's just go like that. And I'm guessing this shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we have double magic. So, I mean, if this was going to be bad, I'd probably know it. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, okay, we're not going to get that. Uh, hopefully one of these tornadoes can give us the power we need to survive and not fall into the water like we are about to! Yeah, we're pretty much going to fall right in. There's no hope now. There is absolutely no hope. Yep, no hope. Wow. That was really bad. I didn't even make it that far. Sploosh! Flight distance was 175 yards. Yes, a whopping 175 yards. Okay. Wow. That was really bad. Uh, really? Wow, that's some great flying, but not quite great and talented. I have no advice to share with you. All that's left is cash your luck in the wind and just fly, boy. Fly, boy. Okay. 
We are going to try that again, because that was probably very terrible, and I didn't even get that far. I didn't even have any help from the tornadoes that time, so maybe the wind will be in our favor this time. So let's try that again. Let's just go like that, and just get started with this madness. This looks, looks really annoying if you're trying to get distance, or some height rather, because of these stinking tornadoes in your way. So we'll see. We'll see if we can do it. Alright, we got one there. That's pretty good. Now, can we get those ones to cooperate with us? That would be the key to our success. Uh, he's not coming my way, so I'm just going to avoid it. Here's this one. Will we be able to reach this one in time? I don't think so. Eh? And sure enough, we did. Not bad. Alright, so can we even make it through this in time? I don't even know if we're going to be able to beat this. Wouldn't it be crazy, though? We can only dream. Sploosh! Uh, 256 yards. Okay. Did we win? That was that seemed to be do that seemed to do it, right? Uh we we didn't do it? Really? Oh my goodness, you know what? That's really dumb. I thought I'd won there. Ugh, well, I wonder how long this is gonna take. This looks really freaking annoying now that we've done it a few times. Wow, okay, we did it! Congratulations! Sweet! Your rec current record was an impressive 257 Wow, one off from the last one we did! Are you kidding me? We were off by one yard?! Ugh, you would make a fine and distinguished member of the Rito tribe, I guarantee it. The former champion upstairs says so too. You are both great and talented. So as the new champion of the Re Birdman contest, please accept this great and talented prize. From this, we get a freaking piece of heart. No, I am upset with you, sir. I was one off from your stinking goal, and... What are you looking at, guy? You seem to have something to be looking at. Let me talk to you first. Oh, let me see, okay. So, you are looking at something, then. Doesn't seem to be... Eh, what are you looking at? Can't quite see anything from here, so... He's probably just too short to reach anything. Whatever, we have explored this area. I'm just gonna leave it because I don't really want to stay here anymore. <laughs> I'm really kind of sad that we missed it by one, but at least we beat it in three tries. I mean, I don't know how good that really was compared to how it should be done, but I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm not really complaining too much at all because I think that was pretty good. I mean, whatever, you guys can say I'm bad, and I probably am bad, but who knows? I'm just bad at Zelda games in general, right? This didn't cost me that much rupees. It only cost me 30 rupees to do that whole thing, which is, I guess, not that bad at all. Anyways, here we have our next island off of the distance. So, let's see here. Let's just pick up the location. Where is the fish location? Where is the fishy fishy fish? See around here? Oh, I see him. He's all the way over there. That's not terrible. Alrighty, fish. Where are you? You're right over here. Let's throw some bait. So you can come over here and eat some and then give us the location of this crazy place that we've come across. Hello there, fish. Alright, we've, we've done this so many times throughout the game. I can't wait until we never have to talk to these fish again. Ugh, this is Overlook Island. Alright. What do we got here? What do we got? Hey, small fry, do you know about the Golden Triumph Forks? It's there, I tell you, on that island, the genuine article. But the cliff there rises sharply, and even if you wanted to climb it, there aren't any ledges or footings for you to grab onto. So what are you going to do, Small Fry? Alright, that's all the information he's got for us. So, what exactly do we have here? Um, how do I get up there? Um, I really don't know if I have any means to do this. Let me check my items. 
Nah, I don't think I do. I don't think I have any way of getting up there. So you know what? I'm just gonna pass on it. I mean, if there's anything I could do there now, let me know. I'm just assuming. And I know assuming is very bad, but I'm just heavily assuming that there's something there for me to do. But, I mean, there's, yeah, there, there's probably nothing I can do there at the moment, so I'm just gonna pass right through there and not even worry about it. Anyways, here we have yet another destination, and we're just gonna pick it up with the fish, wherever the fish is. Where is he? Uh, did I see him over here? He's bound to be here somewhere, right? Oh, there's something over there, too. I need to go do that. But where the heck is the fish for this area? Oh, he's all the way over here. He, why is he so far? I mean, I guess that's not really that far. I'm just kind of blind. Then again, this is a blind LP, so, I mean, it's bound to be bad. It's bound to get crazy. And, of course, I'm, I'm kind of blind. I'm pretty bad in one of my eyes. But that's enough about that. I'm just talking and rambling because it is late at night. And I'm pretty sleepy, but I just wanted to record. I just wanted to record things. That's all I wanted was to play some Zelda, but I guess it's taken effect on my sleep. But anyways, I'm, I'm going to be done talking about that. Oh, oh, he's talking about big Octos. I really don't care about that. We've already seen enough of those throughout my day. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to stop talking about my non-sleep for right now. We're just going to play some Zelda and hopefully maybe, maybe make this episode extra long so we can finish the side quest or these bounds of side questing because I do believe you have one more island left to explore and why leave it unturned for the next episode just why do that that's not even worth it so we're gonna climb up here and see what we have to do hopefully there's nothing I don't see any cannons so that's pretty nice what do we have up here oh we have these guys huh well we killed one and they made a treasure chest appear that is pretty good I'll take that any day of the week Right, let's go ahead and see what's inside the treasure chest, which is a red rupee. Not bad at all, actually. Alright, let's see, where is the other ones? I heard one. Oh, he's, wow, he's over there. You know what? I'm going to pull out my arrows, and I'm going to make sure this guy knows who he's messing with. He is messing with the wrong person. I have no... Oh, I do have some magic now, so that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. I'm going to kill him with one. And that is going to make another treasure chest appear. Ooh. All the treasure chests. Very happy about that. Alright, let's come over here, break these pots. Get a heart and some little bit of magic, which is nice. But in this treasure chest, we get a golden feather. Not bad. I'll have to check and see how many we have after we're done here. But here we have another one of these guys. I'm going to shoot him. Kill him and it'll be done. And then there's another one. Alrighty, so that's both of those, and here is, in fact, another treasure chest! Jeez Louise! And here we have some more magic, which is good, because we had practically none. Uh, I'm gonna find some more, if we can get some more, because magic is definitely something we're gonna need. Because, well, we have none of it, so that's cool. Alright, and here's another treasure chest. And it's a fancy animation! Could it be some heart piece, a treasure chart, whatever? We get a treasure chart. Not bad. Alright, so now that we know that there are, in fact, good stuff from these things, it's in my best interest to take a look at them whenever I can. And why do I always do that? Let's just drop down, get to our boaty boat, and make it to our final island. Yes, we have one more island to go. But how exactly do I want to get there at the most efficiency from me? It's right over there, and I believe this is not going to take me where I need to go. I think the fastest way is going over to Windfall. So, you guys don't need to see me travel into this brand... Well, not brand new island, but this is this island of sorts. So, I'm going to cut away and meet you guys when we reach the final square. The final uncharted square of this game. I am super excited to say that because... We've been out at sea for really for such a really long time, and I'm I'm kind of assuming you guys are getting pretty tired of seeing all this blue for a long time. And I mean, we're, we're going to be seeing more of it later on. I mean, we're gonna we're probably never done from exploring the Great Sea, but for right now, I'm I'm getting pretty tired of seeing water. I mean, I do live around in an ocean state where there's full of water, so, I mean, I guess I can't really never get away from it. 
And I'm just blabbering on right now. I will see you guys in a little bit when we reach our brand new square. The last square of the game. See you guys in just a moment. Alright you guys, so the final island is right in front of us right now. And here is the last freaking map fish of this game. Oh my goodness, it feels so good to accomplish something kind of like 100%-ish, but not really because it's just exploring islands, and I mean, having all these islands explored and completely filled out our map is definitely a reward in its own. That feels so good right now. All right, I hear that somewhere out in the wide world is a handy arrow that can freeze anything. He is talking about the ice arrow. We do have the ice arrows, so sorry, fish. Your dialogue was long-lived because we are officially done and if we are not done and there's some main story thing involving these fish, then I'm going to feel like a really dumb person. But I do see some rocks, and I think rocks call for bombs. Because bombs are very nice to blow up rocks with, and I don't think that's going to blow up, so I'm going to use this one. And then that's not going to blow it up either. We're just going to place these bombs all around the town and get some of these rocks blown up. Maybe something is under one of these. That would be pretty swell. We'll have to see. Well, that one has a hole in it, so... I guess this island has some holes in its plans! Haha, <laughs> puns! That's actually really bad, I don't even know why I said it like that. But I do see some grass, maybe we can get some magic out of these. That would be cool. We do see another one of these guys that are gonna be important for later, probably, because well, we've seen so many of them. And they're bound to be useful for something. Well, I don't see anything here. And I don't think these enemies are gonna to stop respawning like the last ones did so we're just gonna drop in the hole here and see what we got on this final island oh my goodness I can't believe it all right here we have some enemies all right that's fine so hopefully we can just kill all these enemies and be done that would be cool all right there's three of them we're just gonna use our freaking counter attack because that's how we do things just destroy them no problem Alrighty, and just gonna make more enemies appear. That's pretty good. So I'm guessing this is kind of like a mini little gauntlet, per se. Per se, I have no idea, but... If it's enemies we're gonna kill, we're gonna do them. We're gonna just kill them. We're gonna do no, we're not gonna do that. That's bad. We're going to kill all these enemies, and... It'll be good. It'll be good. And hopefully the reward is much rewarding for killing all these enemies. We do have these things. I want to break them because we do get some rupees and some bombs. I guess we really needed the bombs. We have 93 bombs, not 99, which is bad. So, whatever. All right, so these two guys are down. We got some rupees, and now we have to fight these guys. These big, giant, whatever these guys are called. I have no idea, but they have nice teeth, so it's okay. Okay, let's just kill these guys and be done with this nonsense. Unless there's more enemies, and then we're really not done, and we can never be done, because... This is the Wind Waker, and lots of things happen in this game. But killing all those enemies does, in fact, make a nice fancy treasure chest appear, and that makes me very happy on the inside. We have some more rupees, we have some knights... Oh, that's a skull necklace, that's what that is. And let's go ahead and open the treasure chest, and collect our prize, because I do like prizes. And from this, we get another piece of heart, completing our 13th heart container. We have 13 hearts, you guys. I feel like we've made so much progress, not only in this episode, but in the last, what, five, four or five episodes, I think, we've been out here on the Great Sea, exploring all these crazy islands, and here is my boat. But it feels so good to have all of these areas explored. And as you can see, there are, in fact, treasure charts, or uh, maps, that are not just treasure charts. So we have this one, which shows us where the the gold, the Triforce things are, the Triforce charts that we found, I guess. We have the platform chart, which shows us where all these platforms are. There's so many. We have Beetle's chart, which shows us where all the Beetle shops are. We have the submarine chart, I guess, shows us where all the submarines are. I have no idea which ones I haven't even been to. I wish they would tell me that. And then we have the Triforce chart. I don't think I want to open that. I feel like that's important for whatever. Here we have Tingle's chart, which shows where Tingle is. I don't think that really matters. And, of course, we have Treasure charts. So, we have made some serious progress, you guys. And I'm talking serious progress. I mean, 
I think in the last five episodes that we've been out here, I think we've made some serious progress. But where do I want to go now? Where else do we go? There is, in fact, one square above Windfall. There is Gale Isle, which has been on our map marked there for quite a long time. And I think it is in our best interest to finally go there and tackle down some story progression because it's been long overdue and I know and I have a feeling I mean I could be wrong but I think we are in for some serious story progression now because we have explored all the islands in the Great Sea I am very happy about that I can't even believe we did that at the beginning of the game I would have not thought we would have done that like we came we have come so far since the beginning of our journey and our journey is not even over yet. I don't even know how close we are to the end of the game, rather. So, the fact that we have completed the entire map makes me feel really good inside. But here we are. This is Gale Isle. And we're going to be doing stuff here just like we did when we went to the Earth Temple. Uh, in Headstone Island, I think it was called. But with this amazing view up here with this freaking huge gust of wind behind Link's back. We're going to end this episode off here. Next time on the Wind Waker HD Blind, we're going to be doing some story progression because we have been long overdue for that, and I can't wait to see what happens next in the story. So, with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more of the Wind Waker HD Blind.